I'm speeding with the kids. It's gonna be a good day. So. trouble we can get into. We also have a few shout outs that we're gonna do throughout the video uh, just to share a few channels that I have been watching but if you haven't yet before you leave to visit all those amazing people we're gonna share um, hit the like and subscribe here at Girl in Our Cows to find out our next adventure and, to, um, and click that little bell right before the subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. <laughs> See they know. So. We were heading out to Bill Stack. We gotta feed the cows today and uh, check on the critters. So stick around and uh, see what we're up to. All right, I got the tractor loaded with two bales and Peyton's out opening the gates, which is awesome because then I don't have to get in out of the tractor so many times. And while we get our way through this gate and pick him up so he doesn't have to walk because that's not nice. We're gonna do our first shout out. Um, so the very first shout out I'm gonna do is the uh, Pro Carry Trucker. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, but he did give me a shout out, so I'm gonna return the shout out. Um, it's and windy if you, out there. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. Uh, he does shout outs every Sunday. And uh, so he does shout outs every Sunday. He is a truck driver, so he does some of his videos right from the truck while he's out working and shares his adventures on the road. So it's a pretty cool channel. I'm not sure how he found me because um, I just returned the comment and checked him out and I had never been there before. So I returned that subscribe and I'm gonna return the shout out for him. So head over there and check him out and let him know that a girl in our cow sent you. And we'll get back to a few more once we get these bales net wrap pulled. Well, that's why it's not super warm in here. Someone turned the heat off. Dad. No, it was mom yesterday because it got hot in here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're really just on our really way. Did blame dad when it was you? It was me. I didn't blame dad. You did. On our way down here through the field. Check on the girls and see what they're up to. Give them some food. Actually, I kind of like this view. The sky's pretty today. A little bale on front. So, we'll head out oh, here right. and we'll feed the girls and then I'll come back and give you uh, another shout out. I'll share with you another channel. Okay, now that I got this bale unrolling, I might have a chance to do the second shout out for today's feeding video. <laughs> um, maybe. Now that it's not turning. Come on, roll, roll, roll. Roll and roll and roll and Okay, there we go. So the second shout out is Prairie Sunset Ranch. Um, he's been around for a while and he's been trying so hard to do a 700, 700 subscriber giveaway and he's really, really close. So if some of you haven't headed over there to check him out, um, I highly suggest it. He's a cattle farmer just like I am and he is out doing all kinds of things with his cows feeding right now because it's winter and we feed. Um, but he has some videos of bringing them home and haying and some other farming adventures. So. Head on over there and let him know that we sent you and help him get to that 700 subscriber. He's really, really close. So I would love to see him get there because he's been trying. And uh, yeah, so that's number two. I got two more to go. We got to go back to the bale sack and get two more bales and uh, then we'll come back. Okay, here's another shout out. I decided we should do a shout out when we're bringing these two bales to the field. Our life out west. Do you remember what Chickens, there's... dogs, hor oh, wait. horses. Horses yeah. and greenhouses. As things that they have on their channel that they share. They're pretty new. So what are they supposed to do over there? Um, I can't Head remember. over and check them out. And then let them know that paid in on a girl and her cow sent them. So yeah, they're pretty it's a pretty good new farming channel. Well not hundred percent farming, but out of town and country living um, and they live where there's no snow it's a uh, desert area I can't remember exactly where I want to say like Arizona or something uh, there's cactuses and stuff um, I could be completely wrong with the place and I apologize uh, but they don't have snow they get lots of sunshine anyway 
Uh, and yeah, so head over and check them out. We're just on our way down to the field with the next two bells. For the kids' advice, it's hard to see because of my head's in the way in the sun. They told me to go up the field with this bale, it would unroll. No, we're backwards, so I gotta turn around. Oh, so, it was the right way. We got to uh, turn around and rehook up to this bale because she doesn't want to unroll. I want you to do this thing, Good times feeding. So, today, in one of these videos, I will show you. I do have a program that um, helps me do the math of what we're feeding and our protein and feed values and uh, that's how we figure out the kids with 4-H rations so that video is to come I just haven't uh, I want to get a new uh, updated 4-H weight to show you how everything works with the weights of the cows and stuff before we do that so but uh, figuring out what the protein value and everything in our hay was when we got our hay tested it tells me that I'm supposed to feed four bales a day and so that's what we've been feeding but I work tomorrow morning and I'm not gonna feed them till after lunch so I am going to feed them five just to hold them over because I really don't like when they all come into the tractor and they're begging because they think they have been starved so we're gonna unroll this one and we're gonna go get one more for this pen just to hold them over for tomorrow and uh, then we have just the bread heifers left. There is an only cow on this bale line that she's bale jumped. It is a little dragon. So Brooke's pointing that. Hold on, I'll turn you around. All right, Jaden wants to do the last shout out. So we're going to let him. Who's the last shout out for today? Lauren N. But if you don't like watching people butcher stuff, that's not a good channel for you. That's right. So she, she butchers rabbits and raises sheep. Yeah, so she does meat rabbits and she shows, teaches you quite a bit about the meat rabbits, which is really, really cool. Um, but she also shows how to butcher them. So if you're not into that kind of thing, then maybe not a great mix for you, but I really did enjoy it. What? She didn't say she has sheep, honey. So, um, so just... Oh, leave the doors open and then you guys can't hear anything. You got a great day when you got helpers. You don't have to get out. <laughs> you don't watch them pull all the wrap. No, I get out. Fine. Just thought I'd share. Just a quick view of how you'd see our property from the road before I say goodbye. <laughs> We're done feeding for the day. So, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe, and I will catch you when I'm out and doing So how many of you, as you look in the dark, have a dishwasher that doesn't work? So mine died and I bought a used one and found out that this thing here, up and underneath there's a valve that I just put back with the screw, uh, cratered. So I ordered the new part and it came in and then we had to put in a new line because um, it still wasn't getting water. And so I should have recorded before I did it, but this line I just fed through it under the dishwasher it comes through this cupboard <laughs> and joins here and so I did a bunch of water tests today to make sure where I had pressure and I had pressure up to this joint but then I didn't have pressure when I got to the dishwasher and so I uh, bought a new line which is this one here and fandangled it through the hole and under the dishwasher without pulling it out with some hockey tape um, so I've used thread tape and I've attached everything and gone all the way back under the dishwasher and attached it here. And uh, we're going to turn this thing on and see if I have water. And I thought you guys should be, here's my tools I used here. Uh, this is the screwdriver I used to get that screw out because it's a weird one. And then these two things and some hockey tape. So I had the hockey tape to fang dangle the things together. So now that my lines are all on and I've turned my water back on, we're gonna see if this bad boy works. Let's see if we hear water. I hear it gurgling. And then we're gonna see if it's leaking. I don't feel any water. It's not wet, so that's not a good sign it's not leaking. 
I just want to know if I have water going into the dishwasher. I can hear it. I can feel warm water in the line. So that's a good sign because we couldn't do that before. So who knew this girl could plumb as well as feed cows? Oh. Oh, do you hear that? That is water going in my dishwasher. That means I won. But I, there's water coming from somewhere. I wonder if it's this line going into the pump. My fingers are wet. Crappy. I might have to tighten that up a little bit. That's not a good sign. <laughs> yep, that's leaking. We're going to have to tighten that up a little bit. But other than that, there's no other leaks, so I win.